Hey guys, what's up? Stan for a pro here. All right, welcome back to the RPG Maker. Um, how to make a good RPG series? I think the tile set was erased, wasn't it? Oh, we don't have the tile set anymore because well, we have it, but uh, because the backup was kind of late. I will be getting into that later. I'll probably do that off screen. Um, this episode is gonna focus on well, heck, what in the world would this focus on? Hmm. Alright, you know what? Let's make an entrance, like a little cutscene. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have... Hold on. Where... Okay, first we gotta think where we want the cutscene. Uh, who... Like, which one of these houses is gonna be the player's house? Hmm. Let's make it... Hmm. Let's make it this one. I like this one. So, I'm going to do... I'm just gonna put, like, a little event here. And this is going to be a shrimp lane. No. <laughs> so yeah, this is gonna be a little person. I'm going to do let's say actor one. All right. Now what we're gonna do is well we already have it. Do we already have a transfer? Yes, we do. Okay. So <laughs> uh, I apologize if you hear anybody in the background. Um. Anyways, we're gonna have a teleport person or the player here. But what we're going to do is, what we're going to do is, oh my gosh, hold on, what's going on? I'm sorry, I'm just really distracted by the people in the background. Okay, so we have that fade out for one uh, one instant frame, so what we're going to do is we're going to do, we're going to set actor graphic, because that him to none. And what we're going to do, uh, tent screen 120 frames, wait, and from here we're going to do, we're just going to go over here. Now we're gonna make a uh, par or, uh, an auto run, and the auto run is going to be like, "Yo, I'm a pimp." And let's get that swag going. On. I don't know. Um, <laughs> so we're gonna be like, wait for maybe 30 frames because it's already been 120. Now we're gonna show a little bubble animation, or not not animation. Show balloon icon. The latest event, which is 13, and it's gonna be like. Where's those uh, the da dots? The silence. We're going to do wait for completion. Uh, what was our player's name? Actually, to get that, all I have to do is type uh, backslash n, and then in between the little half square things, just press one. If you press F two, you can see. All right. Okay, but we're gonna have her talk. So, all right above this, we're gonna be slash c. Let's do three. You're gonna do. Let's give her name. Uh, how about? Um, I got swag. You don't. Igsid. No, I don't know. Um, okay, let's name her. Hmm. I hope you guys can't hear the people in the background. I'm trying to like have a constant talking thing so like you don't hear them. Let's name her. Oh my gosh! I really, really, really am running a blank. You know what? His name is Kuro, which is the nickname uh, for the girl I'm in love with. Okay, Kuro. Now you see as is green. You want to get rid of the uh, the other color. So what we're gonna do is type slash C zero. Now we're gonna be like oh, but I want that to be in a color. I want his name, which is Max. So we don't really need. But um, if you ever, if you're not absolutely sure with your character's name, just type slash N. One and then you can always display whatever his name is in the database. So in this case, we're gonna go with Kuro, and we're gonna give the name Max, obviously, but we're gonna give it a color slash C two for his color, for example, slash C zero. What's taking so long? DX face. Adding color to your text just makes it look so much better. Um, I believe if you want it to go instantly, which I might do, I don't know. Mm. What we're going to be doing, though, is we're going to set it transparent and at the bottom. Because later on in the series, like after I open GIMP and I make some images, we're going to have our own custom window style. But let's see how that works. Max, what's taking so long? Uh, 
Actually, let's just change this color. We'll use this window for now. Okay, we're also going to have it change color depending on who's talking. In her case, it's going to be... I don't know. For now, let's have it red. In order to change color while they're talking, all you got to do is... I think it's in tab 3. Where is it? 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 Um... Get location info? I didn't know you could do that. Cool. Um, this is like a lot... Oh, oh, cool. That's actually... That can actually come in handy. Right. Anyway, there should be a little thing where you can change the appearance of the... Win oh, change window color. So, in her case, it's going to be... Really green. We're not going to have it transparent anymore. Copy and paste this. We're going to be like C2 and C0. We're going to, instead of that, we're going to have it max. So, like, it's like max is talking and that says color. Uh, let's have max's window color be default, anyways. Okay, so we're going to name, we're going to give her name. Uh, I'm going to erase all this, but I'm going to keep that there. Change it to three. So, I'm going to be like, Okay, all right already. I'm coming. And then, geez. What was her name? Oh, girl. See, if you, if you take a look, it looks pretty cool. So, we're going to change the window color back to the default. So, we can see how that plays out. By the way, somebody made title music, and I gotta get that. That was amazing. I'm sorry if you guys hear that. <laughs> okay, maybe make her screen a little bit darker. Alright, but yeah, adding color to your windows is definitely a different thing. Like, I never really see that for some reason in uh, any RPG Maker games. And, uh, yeah, it just looks cool. <laughs> Let's try that. We're having it slightly darker. Max, what's taking so long? Really, really, I'm coming. Da -da -da. Now we're gonna continue this event. So we're gonna be like, oh, hold on, we gotta get the name of this door. So we're gonna name this door. We're gonna name it Door Mang. So, we're going to wait for like 30 frames. My dog's scratching at my door. Go lay down, lady. Her name's Lady. And she's scratching at my door, and uh, I can't get up right now and let her in because that would mean, well, like, this is already, I don't know. Anyway, so we're going to wait for 30 frames, and we're going to do set move routes. We're going to select Doorman, and we're going to do, I think it's turn up. We're going to play a sound effect. Obviously not that. Wait, I think it's close? No, it's door. It's open. There we go. I like that sound. So now, now we're going to do... Wait for like... 12 frames, so it's not completely instant. We're gonna do change uh, actor graphic. Now that now there's the, one of the bigger dogs jumping on my air conditioner outside. Lovely. Anyways, we're gonna change his graphic back to the uh, default, but not before we make him face left. By setting move route player, turn left above that. So let's see how that looks. Of course, we're gonna have him shut the door too. Oh, we also gotta actually like make him turn left. Okay, he's gonna turn. Okay, I got this. I got this so It's taking so long. Uh, all right, already. I'm coming. Jeez. Hi! I just spawned in your face! Not scary at all! I would literally soil myself if somebody just spawned in front of my face. So, anyways, instead of facing up, never mind that. Just go ahead and delete that. What we're gonna do is. We're gonna do facing down. Well, but. Not. What? Okay, so we're gonna have it default. Um, you know, where he's facing down. Make sure he's facing down just by doing this. 
You can do wait for like maybe 15 frames. He's gonna turn up. Play a sound effect. Close. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that one. Wait for completion. Now we're gonna do set move route on the door. And we're gonna do direction turn down. Now we're gonna do the player. We're gonna wait for like 12 frames again. And then we're gonna turn left. And then that's gonna be how let's see how this plays out. It's just taking so long. Alright already. Okay, alright, already. I'm coming, jeez, Kuro. <laughs> what? I'm already out here, woman! No, but, um... <laughs> so now we're gonna be like... Uh, maybe wait for 60 frames, which is one whole second. And we're gonna go up here, we're gonna copy this one where we change the color to the green. Copy and paste it by pressing Control-C and then Control-V. Okay, now we're gonna be... Took you long enough. <laughs> Here's where it might get a little tedious, but it's very worth it. We're gonna copy the color back to the default. And, uh, Max is gonna be like, "Hon, I swear, Hon, you don't have to be in a hurry. We've got plenty." Wait, plenty of time. Plenty of time. <laughs> you could you could also give the face graphics if you want. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna give face graphics. So I'm gonna go back and modify all these. So this is Kuro. This is her face. It just kind of doesn't look exactly the same. Huh? It's like all right, all right. I'm coming. Jeez. And then she'd be like, yo, I got that sway. I don't know. <laughs> Took you long enough. Max is like, oh. Uh, we've go plenty of time. Just make sure the text fits by pressing F2 and you can check it. That's good. That's good. And obviously this one should be good. Yep. No, 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 Let's see how this works. Whew, alrighty. I think this looks awesome. Dude, this is really good, actually. Alright. this cutscene and then I'm going or part of this cutscene and then I'm going to end off the episode. Actually we're already late thanks to you sleeping in all the time. You really shouldn't stay up playing games. Good, it's a perfect fit. What? Oh, wrong uh, copy. <laughs> Alright, select that, copy and paste it. And be like... This, this is just kind of showing off all the different faces. Oh, brother. Not this again. I'll make sure that fits. It does. So now, uh, a lot of people actually make the mistake of using Erase Event. Don't use Erase Event for these kind of scenes. You want to do control cell switch a is on go over here to a new event page check this little box and there you go but before we do that uh, we're gonna or after we check or after we control the cell switch we're going to do a screen fade out and we're gonna do after that 
<sighs> Sorry for the ignorance that you hear in the background. Oh my gosh. You know what, guys? I'm sorry for this. If you hear that, um, it's completely ignorant and retarded about talking about some really stupid stuff. And you know, I'm sorry you have to deal with that. Like while I do recordings, I, I can't, I can't stop her from yelling. <sighs> really annoying. Anyways, um, where was I? All right, we're gonna fade out the screen and we're going to do. Control switches E1 is on. We're going to name it E1, and um, we're going to do fade back in screen. This time, we're going to go to here, to her, and we're going to go to new event page. We're going to check this box, as, not the cell switch, the, the uh, but the other switch. We're going to make sure it's select as E1. <laughs> Whoa. So yeah, you do this. Alright, so sing us along. Alright, I'm ready. Right Jeez, girl. Took you long enough. You don't have to be in a hurry. Got the plenty of the time. That was way off. Actually, we're already late thanks to you sleeping all the time. You really shouldn't stay playing games. Hello, brother. Not this again. Alright. Good now. Oh, no shut up. What's pretty good play? Where you at? What's up? I have windows. <laughs> this guy's house is blocking my view of the field. Stop. Alrighty. Now, in the next episode, we will be going over more. And, uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. It feels good to be able to record again. You guys have no idea.